All right, it may not have a total cure, but a clinical trial that just wrapped up in San Antonio may have laid the groundwork for effortless, lifelong control of diabetes. It was a huge trial for something called a bionic pancreas. Ursula Perry shows us why it got rave reviews from some pretty picky patients. Up until 2020, Angelique Keys had a routine with her two diabetic daughters. So I'd just sneak into bed, finger poke, do the reading. With 24-7 finger pricks and manual insulin injections, she and the girls jumped at the chance to try the bionic pancreas, an implant and Bluetooth device that uses a cell phone to monitor, give insulin, and even offer specific food choices all day, every day. So that there's less trial and error, there's less chance of having those really severe lows where you can go into a diabetic coma, you're by yourself. When I did the study for that one, I didn't want to leave. Like when, even when I was halfway, I was like, no. The little blue thing up here, that's my insulin. That's my battery. The bionic pancreas was older sister Bella's key to independence. This is the first time ever having a sleepover. And also the first time with diabetes, I was very nervous. Dr. Rabib Jaffrey oversaw the clinical trial whose results will now be published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Things like carbohydrate counting, calculating doses of insulin, giving yourself multiple doses to bring down high blood sugars are not needed at all with the bionic pancreas. At the end of the 13-week trial, the results were in. There was an improvement in blood sugars, um, an improvement in A1C, which is usually used as a target for blood sugar control and an increased time spent in the target blood sugar range, um, which we saw in both children and adults. This bionic pancreas system was put up against every FDA approved diabetes control method that was available. And the results were so good, it's expected to be put on the market with FDA approval as early as next year. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.